welcome back to Equisetum Gaming and our playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. We are picking up shortly after where we left off in the previous episode. Getting back to uh, story missions. And uh Miss <laughs> Karen. The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. <laughs> Take it easy, Miss Karen. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Mm. Evening. Evening. <laughs> We'll grab ourselves a bowl of stew once Charles is done. And uh, then we're going to see what uh, Mary Beth has in store for us tonight. Well, tonight in game. <laughs> Leave the pot in case somebody else wants to uh, serve up. And if you've never noticed, Charles does not usually like to have company when he's having dinner. He prefers silence, but uh, right now he's over there listening to Javier. <laughs> but we'll come over here and talk to Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <laughs> if you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> no, I yep. haven't visited Mary yet. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Hell yeah. All right, head for Rhodes and quick. I have Rhodes. been waiting no. for this episode. A place called Bradley's house, or this uh, west of there. mission. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. Do you don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But, like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Anyway, Talking to folks disappearing. 
Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Okay, we have Luxy. Kieran? A little further, horses. Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Take the shotgun. What the hell? What the hell? Elm, puppy. Not in this one. Not in this one. Of course it's the last room. Oops. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to go. She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> the one in front's the ball. Them. Hey, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. They're heading down the hill to the water. We're coming for you, you bastards. You got me. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. Not the first one. No, we want him alive, Susan. We can't let these animals get away. Come on, horse. Oh, you're gonna pay. All of you. All right. This one we want to take out. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Last of women, we'll take him back to Word on this bastard. The Don't ah, I just trampled him. Prop. Just wanted to. I didn't kill him. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Last of women. We'll take him back to Tilly. Come on. Where is he? Yeah. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You don't know who you're dealing with. We are nowhere close to being close. So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. <laughs> all right, that's why we got uh, booted for, uh, go for stealing the or shooting the horse out from under him. Idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. 
Don't feel. Get off me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't he worry. He deserved it. Saying him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch what? yesterday. Bastard. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like yeah, I said. Coward. All right, all right, damn it. <laughs> all right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. <laughs> So he's still alive then? Really? You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always <laughs> says, revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> Not simply because he followed us from Valentine. Complete with at least 90% accuracy. Yeah. But now... We have this beautiful girl. Cleaned up. She is a leopard Appaloosa. She's a very nice leopard Appaloosa. Won't take long. And we are gonna keep her. The unfortunate thing is Easy, girl. that means we have to choose a horse that uh, we're gonna get rid of now all our horses have been really good up until this point so gonna head up to Dewberry Creek stable I think the uh, I think the Sandinese stable would be a little closer, but this is a brand All new right, horse, girl. and we want to uh, bond with her. So, riding her up to Dewberry Creek will help with that. We did manage a level one on our little chase after Anthony Foreman. Yeah, Tilly might have wanted us to uh, spare Foreman's life, but considering we had issues with his gang in Valentine, or she did at least, I think the safest thing to do is 
take him out. We picked up a new double barrel shotgun. Already had one. But now there's a second one in our collection. We'll have to throw it in the uh, weapons locker because I am quite satisfied with using the semi-auto and the pump action. Don't need a third shotgun on our person. are still up from the stew we ate. It's a rather quick little mission that we've done. Okay, girl. But we'll be using this horse Maybe not every episode for a while, but we'll be using her for a number of episodes because we need to get her fully bonded. And this late in the game, that can be a little difficult. You're all right, girl. But we're heading up to the stable so we can give her a name. And also, unfortunately, as I said, we'll have to get rid of one of our other horses and uh, you're probably going to be surprised at the one that I will choose to leave behind considering it has been a very good mount for us for quite a few episodes in this series but there is a plan there is a reason why I am going to choose this lovely little Appaloosa over the horse that I am going to discard. Okay. So question for this episode. Of course we're only, we're not even halfway through it yet, but question for this episode is, uh, do you think uh, the Vanderlyn should be tougher on rival gangs, or do you think they should maybe be looking to uh, cultivate some alliances? We had uh, that little fake parlay with the O'Driscolls a couple episodes back, and now we've uh, run into trouble with the Foreman gang. We've met the Lemoyne Raiders, and uh, hey, good looking horse there. they've been Sorry, uh, our stalls are all sold out. an issue. So you can see already no base prices. selling price well, on this horse price on is uh, higher than other horses. She does have some Timberline Wildfire. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, never mind. We're going to... We left Frost back at camp. And I need Frost. We're going to get rid of Frost. And I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of you because she's the war horse. The Hungarian half-bred that we have been riding for quite a while. But there is an opportunity to get another Hungarian later in the gang. Later in the game. Not gang. Um, so we don't need to keep Frost right now. If we need a war horse, Wildfire does just fine. We have Timberline for speed. And this little girl is going to be mighty speedy once we get her uh, fully 
bonded. She's already got really good health and uh, really good stamina for only a level one horse. But we'll go down here. We'll put our saddle on her. Yeah, I didn't think about that when I switched horses at the beginning of the episode. I forgot that the one you have to... Or the one that you want to sell, you have to yeah. have it in the stable. I'm so used to just being able to call any of them from the uh, hitching post at camp that I didn't think about that. So we will uh, head on into Saint Denis to make this sale. Or, or, we'll just take Frost up to the horse fence. That sounds like a better plan. That sounds like a damn good plan, actually. And then we can make this our main mount. And we will name her later. If you have name suggestions for her, you can throw them in the comments. Since we'll probably not be returning to a stable this episode now. We'll just be... Heading off to the fence with Frost. And, uh, I don't know if we'll have time for another mission afterwards or not. Arthur, dumbass! Well, look who it is. You're keeping busy? Trying to. We do have one thing we could do. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna hitch our new horse right here. Unfortunately, we cannot loot the saddlebags once we've bonded with the horse, which I find a little strange. All right. Remove saddle. A lot of people forget that you can actually do this. And we will saddle up our brand new Appaloosa. All right. Now we'll hop on Frost and take her okay, girl. to the horse fence. And call the Appy so that we have a ride back. And just to make this go a little faster, we're going to set our waypoint a little closer than heading up to Dewberry Creek to the stable, but really not by much. Kind of hate to see Frost go. She's been a good horse, but... Uh, like I said, there is reason behind this, mainly because uh, we will be getting another Hungarian later on when we need her. Do a little cross-country trekking. I do have a name that I usually give this Appaloosa that is behind us, but uh, again, if you have suggestions, please uh, throw them in the comments, because I never think my names are all that great. I do use a number of references to music or stories or movies whatever that i use obscure things so that it's not 
necessarily obvious if you're not, uh, you know, paying attention. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't name a, a black horse black beauty or anything like that. But, uh, yeah. I do like that we get to name them, though, rather than just have them be nameless animals that we use for transportation. It's nice that we get to bond with our horses. Should find some more people to take out with incendiary rounds, like we did in the previous episode. We'll see how much we get for Frost. Because uh, at the stables she would have been 26, just like the other horses that we had. Easy, easy. Might not be the best idea to uh, be fencing a horse that we've been bonded with. But... Yep, sell Frost for 45 bucks. Takes that bread. Careful, Clive. That's our profits now. <laughs> there we go. Forty five bucks richer. And I'm not going to sell this horse, but I just want you to see what she would cost here. 3440 which is about double what we uh, get at the stable and I think just to make life easy we are going to set camp so we can fast travel rather than run back and forth. Question is, where do we want to fast travel to? Alright. We're gonna go to Sandini. There's some little side quest mission distractions over there. Maybe meet up with Mary since uh, Mary Beth accused us of having already done that. <laughs> What's the problem with doing these, uh, episodes? <clears throat> Not exactly out of order, but, um, you know, I'm doing the exploration episodes that take us, uh, away from what we were doing. Set a course to visit Mary. Yeah, if you're if you're just playing straight through the way the game sort of uh, prompts you to, then like a lot of these weird little side comments and what about uh, meeting with Mary or some of the other little side quests make a lot more sense. Uh, one thing I hate about being in the city and what I definitely don't like about being on a new horse in the city is that uh, there's always traffic jams. Not sure why she spooked. I missed what was going on there. Keep crossing the street, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, because we need to get our uh, 
Get yourself some real food. Honor. I know you got know. some money. Mm. Listen. Someone must you have, have to take truck. this. Really funny. Yeah, that's real kind. I lost my money. Play poker. Ugh. Yeah, we know. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh. <clears throat> real. <clears throat> Hush, hush. Love the gunsmith, huh? Oh, keep that in mind. All right. Hello. Will you move? Actually, forget it. I can't move. You're the one who's not moving. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! <laughs> yeah. I came. <coughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Oh. Please. You need to learn to be your own woman. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah, Come we'll on, always man. help Mary. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? <laughs> He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. You don't know what? Okay. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Learn to tame a horse. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. 
pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. some corners. No, the life of an outlaw isn't that uh, is place. long, but Arthur talks like he's really old. Let me go in and <laughs> see what kind of a state he's in. <laughs> sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> Seriously, Arthur's Got only like uh, 36. <laughs> what, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <sighs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me. You might lie. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This yeah, way. yeah. Can't get too close. He went around the corner. Yeah, I know. There he is. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Nice trick. Arthur's talking with his mouth shut. Just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Yeah, we know. With the vomit. Come here, <laughs> quick. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. <laughs> we just got done uh, rescuing another of our he ladies. Just left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. Damn it. Ah. It's one thing I don't like about this across the road. You know, mission. This is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you.
Because you can't run, but walking isn't enough. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Hey, stop a second. You're too close. See? Should be able to move forward now. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So. Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was a mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Yeah, I'm straight, I will. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Come on, new horse. I am not running on foot this whole way. I need my horse. My horse is stuck in alleyways. Damn it. Come on. I'm going to. I need my horse. There we go. There we go. Now we can do this. Into the fog. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. God damn it. Get back here. <laughs> Wait, even more? Level 2 bonding already? Alright. I think we are good. No, can't do it. It's not gonna let me. Not yet, at least. <laughs> All right, we'll catch up and see if we can uh, jump. What the hell? What are you doing? I don't know. What am I doing? Horses. <laughs> Get on. Why the hell did that happen? Yep. Guess I accidentally hit the uh, E. 
Yeah, you bought it from a man who uh, didn't have the right to sell it. Did Gillis put you up to this? Not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> there we go. A little muddy. wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, <laughs> that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. You didn't know who you were messing with. reason why I do that is you don't have to kill him, but uh, he's no better than Strauss. In fact, he's worse than Strauss because he's dealing with uh, higher amounts of money and uh, picking on people who really should know better. <laughs> Arthur's on money. <laughs> Find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Oh, we'll accept that this is going to end up uh, Me? getting cut from the episode. Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an <laughs> idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> I really wish I would have had an opportunity to clean Arthur up before this. The only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Anyways, I'm going to cut the episode here. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a like. After you. Consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.